Are you, are you sick of looking at Netflix and you don't know what to watch? So many movies out there, you don't know which ones are good, which ones were bad. You curious about what's out there? I'm Joey Powers. I'm Don Trettler. This is The Best Pictures. The ones you don't want to miss. Hit it. Say hello to my little friend. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Winners go home and prom queen. English, mother do you speak it? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I don't deserve this. Deserves got nothing to do with it. No sequel for you. Hi, and welcome to another edition of The Best Pictures. I'm one of your hosts, Joey Powers. Hey, and I'm Don Trettler. Welcome to the show. So this week we're going to be reviewing Smile, uh, reviewing Smile 2, which we went and saw this weekend, right. and talking about Halloween movies in general. Um, but first, Don, if you want to just... Well, before we continue, we want to let everyone know that this show is broadcast live from the FACT TV studios in Bellows Falls. FACT TV is a community access center that provides studio space and production services free of charge to community members in southern Vermont and Keene. If you're interested in creating your own show, already producing content and wish to submit it, or want to stay informed about news and events in southern Vermont and Keene, including live coverage of local town meetings, sporting events, and community events, visit fact8.com. I've been there. It's nice. So I quickly want to do the uh, rundown of the box office. Um, yeah, what opened this weekend? Ven Venom, The Last Dance opened at $51 million. Um, I didn't get a chance to see, I didn't get a chance to look back and see what the other two Venoms did, but I think this kind of underperformed. Wow. Kind of, not, not like Joker underperformed, but but yeah, it's definitely. Smile 2 was number two, thanks to us, because we were inside. <laughs> uh, 9.5 million. The Wild Robot's still hanging in there at 6.8. Conclave, that's the one you were interested in seeing, correct? Right, but it wasn't playing anywhere near us. No, nah, I, I, I don't think it got a... Here, let me get on this. I don't think it was a wide release, really. Weird. Um, I yeah, wonder... it only opened in 1,700 theaters. Oh. But it still managed to make 6.6, 30, almost 3,800 per screen. That's not bad. The reviewer I, I looked at gave it four stars. Yeah, no, that's definitely not bad. Um, one thing I did want to mention about Joker, if I can find it, so far down the list now, it jo they dropped another 1,600 theaters dropped it this week. It's already down to 1,243 theaters. Wow. It's only made $57.8 million. It's probably going to be out of theaters very shortly. Um, very, very disappointing. And on video. Maybe that's what everybody's waiting Yeah, on video, for. yeah. So I'll, I'll watch it again on video. Um, so that's the weekend. Top five. Um, wow. All right, so we did go see Smile too. It was, I, I liked it. it. They released it in time for Halloween, so yep. we could have, see a Halloween movie. Yeah, this was actually the second weekend it was out. Right. It, it opened last weekend at number one. Um, I didn't get a chance to see the first one yet. I was going to go back and watch it after. Um, I still might, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, be curious to see what you think. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I definitely, that one gets a 6.5. Right now, Smile 2 gets a 7.2. Which you said you think is too high, but it always opens generally pretty high anyway and right. goes down. Um, I, I think 7.2 is reasonable. I'm a big horror movie fan. Yeah. But this movie scared the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, uh, I definitely jumped like several times. And uh, one of the times I actually, actually dumped my popcorn on Ton because it made me jump so much and I had the popcorn in my hand. It was actually kind of funny. So lots of jump scares, but, so be prepared. I don't know if we should, you should tell people that, because then they'll go into the theater, they're going to be expecting jump scares. They're not going to buy popcorn now. <laughs> I just lost money for the theater. They'll be, like, they'll be waiting for the jump scares to happen. But, um, so uh, a girl I work with uh, said she saw the first one, and she, I was telling her about this one, and this one seems to be a lot more like grotesque, I guess, than the first one. Is that... In my opinion, it was, yeah, because okay. I don't remember the first one being as gross uh, cause, as Because this was pretty... Lots pretty, of body horror. Pretty gory, gory, you know? Yeah. Which I didn't mind. That part didn't bother me. It was just all of a sudden she'd like turn and the guy, the guy would be right in her face. That, that kind of stuff makes me jump. And that happened a lot in that movie. Right. But well, they were behind her. Yeah, yeah. And then they're on her side and stuff like that. And they're stacked up in the doorway. You know, I mean, I thought it was well done. I it got to the point though where I one I thought it did kind of drag out too long. It didn't have to be two hours and seven minutes long, but then it just kept like 
I kept like thinking as like, okay, is this real or not? Like, because it just kept happening so much. It's, it's I don't know. I just got. It was. I'm not gonna say it was confusing, but it just. It was just. I don't know. I just. It, it should have been like a 90 minute movie. I felt. Right. It didn't have to. I mean, they just kept putting so much twists and turns at the end. You know, it's like it started to almost get confusing because it's like you're just trying to do too much at this point. You know, it's like keep it a little more simple. I would have. Yeah. But I definitely liked it. I would recommend anybody likes horror movies. I would recommend it. I, I definitely like. Yeah, it. it's a decent horror movie. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, it's a good one to go see for Halloween. Yeah. Because they're not, I noticed they're not releasing anything actually on Halloween. They're, there's a movie called The Negotiation. It says action horror thriller. I'm going to read you a little blurb. Let's read the blurb. Yeah. The, ne it's, the Negotiation, you said? Oh, my God. It doesn't say much of anything. Horror thriller where a young woman finds out it really can be too late to change your mind. It's directed and written by this guy named Ian Stokel. Doesn't sound familiar. Anybody famous in it? It doesn't say. Ah. It lists nobody. Really? So. And it's opening this weekend? And it's opening on on Thursday. You would think they would like give you a little... Is that on IMDb? Yeah. Huh. That's kind of weird. You would think they would give information to let people know what's, what's coming out. Let's so see. we were going to go see here this weekend, but you read a pretty awful review. Well, let me read. Let me read from it, okay? This is by uh, Peter Subzinski. And uh, he's a pretty, you know, reliable, pretty reliable yeah. uh, reviewer. This, is, but I mean, he hated this movie. He gave it one star. This is the first. This is the first paragraph. You know those extended commercials that sometimes run around the holidays, that offer up vague, sentimentalized bromides about love, family, and brotherhood, that are brought to you by soulless corporations as part of their annual year-end. We're we're good, right? campaigns. Imagine one of those stretched out to 104 minutes and you have Robert <laughs> Zemeckis here, a hollow and vapid pain to the whole of human experience that has all the depth and profundity of a generic greeting card. The result is a movie that isn't just bad, but baffling. One that traffics in practically every imaginable emotion without gener genuating, generating a genuine one of its own. Wow. That's rough. Oh, he hated this <laughs> My movie. My God. Um, Which tells you, like, he uh, he had a tough time sitting through this thing. Yeah, it sounds interesting. It's based on a 2014 graphic novel by Richard McGuire. Here? Yeah, wow. that's what it says. That's weird. I was looking for my list to see here it is. To see if there's something else coming out this weekend that we can go see. Cause, oh, that's not it. Cause Cause next week, yeah, this, next week is uh, that Hugh Grant one called Heretic. Which is, it's like a kind of like suspense. Like, yeah, I think it's the same guy that did um, uh, Summer, or no, um, shoot, Summer. I can't think what the name of the movie is. Is it like that's a some, horror movie? Some, Midsummer. Midsummer. Oh, okay, I've heard of that. Did you see that one? No, I haven't. And, and the, what's the other one with, um, oh. I'm going to forget. I'm like totally unreliable as you're... All right, let's look it up because obviously I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Are you looking it up right now? Yeah. All right, so it says Scott Beck and Brian Woods wrote and directed it. Her Heretic, I mean. Huh. Is that the guy you're thinking of? One of the guys? No, I'm thinking it was... It would have been somebody else. Uh, maybe he didn't direct Midsummer. Scott Beck, what's he known for? A Quiet Place. Midsummer says it's Ari Aster. Ari Aster, right. That's who I was thinking this was. I guess not. I thought maybe, maybe Ari Aster has another movie coming out. But I would have thought maybe that would have come out this weekend being... Because it's like a suspense, kind of scary, like a psychological thriller. That would have been a good weekend, holiday weekend movie. Yeah. Um, Let's read oh, it. no, it does say Director of Heredity. Oh, that's heredity. Yeah, no. Oh, not, heredity. Not heredity. Oh, 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 not heredity. Gotcha. Let's read the blurb on yeah. this. Two young religious women are drawn into a game of cat and mouse in the house of a strange man. And Hugh Grant plays the strange man. He's pretty good. And that, uh, and this would be kind of a cool turn for him, right? Yeah. Playing something opposite his... Oh, rom-coms, pretty much. Right, yeah. sweet, lovable guy. Yeah, exactly. 
I was thinking the same thing. Well, I think we should still find something to watch this weekend because something tells me my uh, weekend's going to be free pretty soon here. Yeah. It's Miami's, Miami's playing at noon on Saturday, and I have a feeling I'm not going to be busy Friday or Saturday night. So. Wow. So what else did we have? Oh, Juror Number 2. Basically, it's a Clint Eastwood-directed movie. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I read about that. That actually sounds interesting. If that... What, well, we're going to talk. It about depends it. on if it winds up at the theater. This is right. that's this is our thing. Is they're not they're not opening all these movies at the theater. Uh, it has uh, jo Zoe Deutsch, J.K. Simmons, Nicholas Holt, and Tony Collette. It's not a bad cast. No, it's a good start right there. All right, I, um, I do have to ask you something though. What did you think of the original Beetlejuice? We told Colin we talked about some other Halloween oh, movies. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't like it. You didn't like it. I didn't like it. I, but I can't get into uh, Michael Keaton. I don't. I have a right. Michael Keaton thing. Well, I also have a Tim Burton thing. I don't mind Michael Keaton as much, but I just, for whatever reason, his his style just, I, I don't like anything he's really done. What other about than, Edward Scissorhands? <laughs> no. Other than the first, I like the first Batman. <clears throat> I didn't even really like Batman Returns. <clears throat> I, don't, I didn't like Beetlejuice at all. Like, I saw it when I was a kid, and I haven't seen it since. I won't see it again. Um, a good friend of mine that I used to work with at Almonds, it's his favorite movie. <clears throat> Beetlejuice is? Yeah. And he went and saw Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It came out on his birthday, which is kind of cool. Wow. And he went and saw it, and uh, I asked him what he thought, and he was like, you know, it just... He wasn't thrilled with it. No. No. Well, like, can you imagine the expectation that gets uh, built up on something I can imagine. Like I mean, what was it, 30 years later oh, yeah. that it came out? Um but, I mean, it made a ton of money. Like, I told you, in, uh, I was walking by the night it opened at the Opera House. People were lined up down past where my old job, the cafe was, waiting to get in. I thought yeah. the doors weren't open yet, but it was just full. The lobby was completely full. I was like, I can't believe this many people are going to see Beetlejuice, or the sequel to Beetlejuice. Okay, let's look it up. What did it get? 6.8. So what, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Yeah, that's what it's hanging okay. on. The first one gets a 7.5. Wow. I don't get that. It's it's got to be because it's a cult following. Because it's not that good of a movie. It's really not. Like, not even close. Like, I wouldn't rate it above six. Like, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I've, I think I tried to watch it again, too. Really? No. I, 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 I just, just found the, the Beetlejuice character too obnoxious for me. All right. Well, while we're on the subject of horror movies, we were talking about this a few weeks ago. I personally think that the worst movie I've ever seen in a movie theater was, was it Halloween Ends? Is that what it yeah. is? Yeah. It got a 4.7. It opened number one. By the second weekend, by the third weekend, it was completely out of theaters. <laughs> by the second weekend, it already dropped like 70% or something like that from the previous weekend. I mean, is that what it actually was called? Halloween Ends or is it Halloween Kills? I don't remember. Halloween Kills. I think Halloween Kills came before that one. Which made it... Halloween Kills was like an Oscar winner <laughs> compared to Halloween Ends. I don't know how Halloween Ends gets a 5.0. I could have sworn it was 4.7 last time I looked. It, there's no possible way it could have gone up. There's no possible. That is, that is the, definitely the worst movie I've ever seen in the movie theater. Really? Hands down. It was awful. I have to think about it. That's a, that's a good question. What's the worst thought, movie we, I've ever we seen? We talked in the about movie it a while ago. You remember how stupid it was, though? It just. Yeah. Like, it was, I it was, didn't like. I think I would rate. Maybe even below that. What was that movie with the the vampire movie with Nicholas oh, Cage? Oh, Redfield. And I like that better Holt. than this. I actually really. Did. I did. <laughs> That's saying something because that movie was stupid. But Halloween ends. I just didn't get like. There were too many things about that movie that did, just didn't make any sense. Like it just. I mean, I I don't even remember most of it to be honest with you because it was that stupid. Like <laughs> I think I just blocked it out of my memory. You know. I mean. I don't know. I, I, man, I got to think about no, that. Renfield the worst gets a, movie. Renfield gets in the mid sixes, I think. Mid six. So I, people I, I like it. Does I, God just looking at the picture of Nicolas Cage looks terrible? People, if you haven't seen this movie, six point four. Oh my word! There's no way. No, there's no way that's over a six. No. That movie's terrible. That's another Halloween-based movie, I guess. It's about uh, Dracula. Yeah. But it, oh, that was terrible. Oh, uh, Nicolas you, Cage you, can't even talk with the you teeth. You wanted in his mouth. to go see it. I did. <laughs> I thought it was going to be exciting. I told him I'd go see it if he would go see the Mario movie with me. And Mario ended up being way better. Take us going God, on. God, who was the, the Aquafina? Aquafina. She, she was right. terrible. I mean, I felt bad for Nicholas Holt. I thought his career was going to be over after that movie. Oh, it was bad. I can't believe it gets a 6.4. Maybe it should be. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I'm looking up. I'm trying to look up and see what. Tim Burton, 
first big one he did. Oh, he did Pee Wee's Big Adventure? I did not know that. Wow, that was kind of a cool, cool movie. All right, so another one that goes along the lines of horror that we just saw recently, this year, Long Legs. Right, that got, was better. Got a, got a 6.7. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely better than Renfield. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Halloween, Halloween Ends. Um, that was a good, it was a good creepy movie. My problem, my problem with that was it just, it had there too many holes, right? Too many holes, it didn't connect yeah, up. Yeah, I remember you saying that. I was going to actually watch it again. And... But it was interesting, and some, somebody, I read a re review of it too, where they said that makes it even more, the, the fact that it has holes in it makes it even better. Uh, no, I, I don't know about that. So, didn't they compare it to like The Silence of the Lambs or something? It has something to do yeah, with it. Yeah, and I was like, I mean, it's not, he's, it's nowhere near on the Silence of the Lambs level. No. I mean, I get the whole psychological part, maybe comparisons, but it's not, I mean, Silence of the Lambs gets like an 8.5. And, you know, that's. So, you know. what's your favorite horror movie? What's the one you, you, you would recommend to people that we should see? Man, I don't know. That's tough. I, I love horror movies. I mean, of the series, Halloween's by far my favorite of all the series. I would rank Halloween, then Friday the 13th, and then. Freddy just, I, I don't know, I, I never really get scared of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. No. Because, you know, like horror killers, or whatever you want to call them, they don't talk. That's what makes them creepy. You know, Freddy's like joking around and stuff, and you know, I just like, I, and they made too many of them too. They, they, the remake was number 10, actually. 10? Yeah, because they had eight, and then they had Freddy versus Jason, and then, that, oh my god, I... That was such a bad movie. <laughs> and no then way. they made the remake with um, uh, the guy from Little Children. Oh, I'm trying to think of the guy's, the guy's name. You know who I'm talking about. Jackie Earl Haley right. played um, Freddy in the remake. Oh, um, that I, sounds cool. He's I a went, good actor. I went and saw it in the theater. And uh, I actually liked it in any of the originals. I really did. The originals were just like, I mean, I know they were made a long time ago, too. And that might be why... Yeah. Because uh, um, it's the same thing with, like, the Friday the 13th movies. And uh, well, I can't say the Halloween movies because Halloween ends is by far the worst of that entire series. I think I think the whole uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, I think it would have been cooler if Freddy couldn't come into the waking world, if he only existed in the dream world, because everybody has to go to sleep at some point. So that would make it even more terrifying, you know what I mean? That they absolutely, they can't fall asleep because they don't want to encounter Freddy Krueger. But by somebody's stupid imagination, they decided to bring him into the, into the waking world, which I think is stupid. So that's, that's, that's my opinion of the whole thing. I never, what were the other ones you said? Halloween? Halloween, Friday the 13th. Halloween, I've probably seen about five of the Halloweens. And, and Friday the 13th, I saw mo probably most of those because, I saw it when the original came out. I saw it, and then just I've just been following it ever since. So My favorite is number six. We were, Jason lives. <laughs> it's the best one. When we uh, we were in high school, me and my one of my friends, well, started in middle school, I guess. We started uh, watching all the horror movies. We started with Friday the Thirteenth, watched all of them. Then we went to Nightmare on Elm Street, watched all of them, and then someone at the video store was like, "Have you guys watched the Halloween movies?" Neither one of us had even heard of it. Halloween. Really? Oh, yeah, seriously. We were like 14, 15 years old. Neither one of us wow. had ever heard of it. And uh, so we started watching that. And um, so we'd get one each weekend. And then one weekend, I trusted him to pick up the next one. And he didn't look at the cover. He just grabbed it. And it was Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. It had nothing to do with Michael Myers at all. And I was like, we watched it anyway because we just we were losers. But it was terrible. Stacy Keach was in it. I'm trying to look huh. for it. I'm trying to look for it here. I might have seen that one. It was awful. It was, like seriously had nothing to do with any of the other ones. And it's like, why would you even, why would you name it Halloween 3 and then try to like keep it in with that series? It has nothing to do with anything else. I can't find it, but it, was, it wasn't very good. I mean, for Stacy Keach to do it, he must not have been very famous at the time. Right. Because it was a pretty, it was pretty bad. I think the, the movie I like the best, I think it's from 1982. It was the remake, John Carpenter's remake of uh, the thing and instead of like the original uh, took place in the 50s and it was up in like the north pole um james arness was the was the the beast whatever mm -hmm. the monster but in this one you don't know who the monster is um 
Yeah, I, and it takes place in Antarctica, so they're kind of like trapped. They can't get. They can't get out. They Isn't can't Kurt go Russell anywhere. in that? Kurt Russell, yeah, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. And uh, oh man, who else? Uh, Wilford Brimley, Quaker Oats guy. Uh, oh, what's his what's his name? Um, Gets an eight point two. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. An excellent freaking movie. Is. I haven't seen that in probably twenty years. I've probably watched it over. I bought it. Keith on, David's uh, in it. On Keith David. Keith David, yeah. It's got a, it's got a good cast. It's got a really good cast in it. No, it does definitely have a good cast. Eight point two. That's pretty high. That's really high. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it. In, I saw it. In, I think like early two thousands. Yeah. And uh, I haven't seen it since. I then. bought it on Blu-ray, and then I watched it with my son, and it was still scary. It was really? still an excellent movie. It's it's. Did, did you watch the new one that they made? I did. I watched the new one. Was a sequel. Wait a minute. I think it was. The newest one was a sequel. Oh, no, it was a prequel. It was what takes place before that movie starts. And it wasn't as good. No. Gets a 6.2, so yeah, I would say definitely not that good. I mean, it might be fun to try to watch that and then watch the thing, but I guess the thing from 1982, the special effects are going to be a little bit old by yeah, now. Yeah, definitely dated, right? So, but that was one of my, one of my favorites. I'm trying to think what else I would watch. I always liked um, uh, the one about Damien, the Omen. Oh, the Omen. Yeah, I thought that was a good creepy movie. I don't know about I don't know about any of the sequels because I'm sh I think there were several sequels to that too. Yeah, and they did a remake in uh, like 2005 or 2006 with Liam Schreiber and uh, Julia Stiles. I that, think they, yeah, I think they they made it that year because it came out on six six six. Oh, you know so. Halloween Kills gets a whopping 5.5. I told you it was better. 5.5. <laughs> wow. I guess it wasn't as good as I remember. I'm looking up. I'm looking up some of the uh, uh, Tim Burton movies. He was on a he was on a roll here. He did Beetlejuice 7.5, Batman 7.5, Edward Scissorhands 7.9, Batman Returns 7.1, Ed Wood 7.8. He did Mars Attacks, which I think is a piece Tim Burton of, did Mars Attacks? Yeah, it got a 6.4, but I think it's a piece of crap. I didn't like I, it. I didn't care for it. That had a huge cast. I don't cast. think I've ever been able to get through that movie. That had a huge cast, too. And I keep watching it because I can't believe that it's that it's as bad as it is, but it's really bad. Doesn't Jack Nicholson play like the president? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen some of it. I, I didn't care for it either. Then he did Sleepy Hollow. Then he did Planet of the Apes with Mark Wahlberg. Yep, okay, I did know that. It got a 5.7. It's got 5.7 on IMDb. That's terrible. That made a lot of money, though. It definitely did. I didn't think it was, like, that bad, but... No, I, I didn't even see it. I don't like uh, Tim Burton, and I don't really care for Mark Wahlberg, either, so that's, like, a double whammy. Oh, double whammy. Yeah. I'm trying to look at what else he's done. So the Sweeney Todd. The original Halloween gets a 7.7. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's yeah. I would say yeah. It's definitely, Especially back in the day, it's definitely it was a scary. classic. You it know, was I, well done. That's John Carpenter as well. I like how Halloween Two literally starts off where Halloween ended. Like it's almost like I, I almost I think I read an article that said where he made it into one big movie, then he just cut it in half. You know, because that's exactly how it plays out. You know. But I mean, that was, yeah, no, I mean, that's one of the best horror movie sequels I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Because it was really, I mean, I wouldn't call it a sequel, I'd call it a, a continuation, really, because it literally does does continue right off where, like, I think he disappears at the end of the first one, and then I, th I, th I think a lot of the second one takes place in a hospital, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. I haven't seen them in a while, but yeah, they're they're classics. And that's where the third one, you know, the season of The Witch comes in after that. Yeah, and it's like, why? Like, I just, it's stupid. But, um... No, I mean, yeah, it's definitely my favorite series of all of them because I don't know, I don't even know how many they're up to now because I don't count Season of the Witch as part of it. As one of those, no. no. But, I mean, there's, like, Halloween Resurrection where they have, like, a uh, um, a reality show inside Michael Myers' childhood home. Have you seen that one? I, I think I did. Tyra Banks is in it. I think Coolio is in it. I did start to you watch know. this movie. So, I mean, I, but I still enjoyed it. I still, like, I own it. I own all the Halloween movies except for Season of the Witch and Halloween Ends. Um, You're not going to buy that on video? No. Because you don't ever want to see it again? No. I will not ever see that it again. It did have, it did give me a belly laugh. If I, uh, if that ever pops up on my TV, I'm throwing the TV away. <laughs> but uh, that's it for our show this week. I think we pulled off the Halloween edition pretty well. Um, 
Hopefully we'll figure out a movie to watch this week. And right. have something to review next week. Um, this has been the newest episode of The Best Pictures. I'm one of your hosts, Joey Powers. I'm Don Trettler. And, and these, these are the ones you don't, don't want to miss. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Here's Johnny. Go ahead. Make my day. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it.